Welcome back to Long Sight Base. I've made the journey. I have the Soontil relics in my hold. I have given them to... Oh, that wasn't there yesterday. When I got here, I don't think. That wasn't. Look at that, 101,000 credits. How is it that much? What was that there? Look, 27,000. That's quite a lot. Oh, I see. You get them automatically when you fire the scanner out. Ah. Oh, very interesting. I did not notice. I want to see what... Oh, it was just because of all those planets. Interesting. And that was the detailed surface scan. Ah, oh, this was the wonderful planet. That was a little planet, and that was a tiny little yellow moon. Uh, you can't see what I'm pointing at because the mouse doesn't show up. But anyway, let us sell this page of dead... Actually, there's no point selling it here, but I will sell it, just because I want to. Um, not going to check outfit, and we're going to go straight in to see Elvira Martuk. Now, uh, I don't know what's happened here. I have not done anything here, but it would seem that I've paid some soon till relics. Hello, Elvira, how are you doing? You look as happy as a bulldog licking piss off a nettle. Good morning. Uh, I've not done anything and yet the unlock for grade 2 access is nearly at the right place. It doesn't make any difference. I had a little look at this yesterday when I landed. She can do for us engines, shield generators and frameshift drive. Now, frameshift drive we're most interested in. Similar as the last one unfortunately I so I want my thrusters, of course, 5A thrusters. She can only do three things on the thrusters. Gives you a little bit of a glimpse at the top of what um, what she can do. So Dirty Drive essentially just gives you uh, better... Um, I don't really know what I'm saying. Increased performance, generally. It's just going to make you, your... Uh, your drives better but they're going to put out more thermal load and blah 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 blah. strengthening is just the normal sort of um, integrity thing makes the module more difficult for people to blow up if they target it specifically which is for thrusters not such a bad idea and clean drive tuning just reduces the thermal load and gives you a small boost in performance as the optimal multiplier shows and obviously the cost sulfur for that carbon for that specialized legacy firmware for that which thankfully i have 15 Dirty drive tuning is what we want. Now, dirty drive two, we need modular terminals. What a surprise. Drive strengthening, we need osmium and uh, samarium, which are two mineable things, osmium and samarium. They're, they're, in fact, you can very easily buy those, osmium and uh, samarium. So let's go for dirty drive tuning, that's what we want. I'm just looking at that thing, secondary effects has positive side effects, positive side effects. Let's get on and preview the outcome. Now I haven't put any on at the minute. Let's see what we get. Fairly high. Fairly low. Mass is not good. But the multiplier makes that uh, sort of okay. No experimentals because I don't think you can have one on this. Um, how's that looking? integrity is good, the power draw is bad it's an extra 6.3 having extra power drawing on my ship is not good uh, just because of the way that the ship is uh, so I'm going to discard that I think yes ha ha but we are now nearly uh, unlocked for the next level doesn't make any difference as I said can't do anything about that so let's go back to Dirty Drive, do another one, see if we can't get something a little bit more interesting. Now also there's a big um, discussion at the moment, I mentioned it a little bit last time. Oh, the power draw is still bad. Uh, about this, they're all bad. The multiplier is good, the power draw is bad. Ah, the integrity went up. What I really want is the uh, power draw to go back up, but we'll discard that again, you useless woman. Anyway, we'll keep doing... Um, these modifications until we get something that we actually want. Um, 
Yes, so this thing about transferring, immediate transfer of ships and, uh, and materials. Um, wow, look how bad that is. Could it be any worse? Oh my goodness, that is appalling. Um, I'm just going to keep doing this as I'm talking. So there's a forum now on the Frontier forums. There's a poll, I should say, uh, to ask whether or not you think there should be a time delay for uh, transfer, of, transfer of ships um, and transfer of materials, etc, etc. Uh, and I urge you to go and vote on it. It's very simple. I don't even think you need to log in. Maybe you did have to log in. I can't, I can't remember if I, if I did log in or not. Um, but it's, I think it's very important to go and have your uh, say on whether or not you think people should be able to just, you know, snap their fingers and move their ship from one place to another. Um, I think we'll go with this one. Power draw is not so bad. I mean, the power draw difference is so little anyway. And the multiplier is better, so we will have that. Apply for the thruster busters. All right, everybody. Now, obviously, engines level two we can't do as we saw, but we'll give one more, one more go on here. So anyway, yeah, I've been there and I've voted my uh... oh, oof, that looks horrific. <laughs> it went worse. That went better. But no, you can uh, bugger off. Not interested in that. So we'll move on to something else. Shield generators. Let's go to that. Um, yeah, go and have your um, go and have your say. Because I think it, it, it they will make a decision. It's it's good of them that they're actually now listening to uh, the community and saying, um, you know, what do you think? We were going to make it instantaneous. You know, you can move your ship from <laughs> the bubble to uh, Jack Station <laughs> it, with the blink of an eye. Uh, which is ridiculous because you know, if you want to take out a big, you know, heavy transport ship or or anything that doesn't have a very large FSD, then it sh you should have to fucking struggle to do that, or at least it should take some time. It shouldn't be instantaneous. Um, not that I'm giving you any ideas on how I voted. <laughs> anyway, let's go back to this. Look at these shields. So we have uh, different things for her shield generation engineers upgrades. We have kinetic shield resistance, obviously does what it says on the tin. Low power, so less power. Uh, reinforced, so just better strength, better all everything. But, but a much worse regenerate. Thermal resistance, so I don't know why they haven't got reinforced at the bottom. Um, so you've got kinetic resistance, thermal resistance, low power, and um, reinforced. Now reinforced would be good, but it just fucks the regen. Now can we do any of these level twos? I'm suggesting we can't. We need germanium for that definitely. Microcontrollers. So pretty much for any level two engineers upgrade, you are going to need some kind of commodity which you only get typically from mission contract, mission reward contracts, which is pretty annoying to be honest. But you have to sort of work out which one you want and then go to a mission board and just find one that is giving you that particular commodity and then you have to hold it in your hull for friggin ages and get back to here and uh, and drop it off anyway so let's have a look what else we got um do we want low power shields or do we want reinforced shields so integrity's lost and mass reduced to decrease power draw and generate a stronger shield. I don't know how that generates a stronger shield. I can't see how that actually generates a stronger shield, but that definitely generates a stronger shield. And I ideally want the regen rate to be 15%. So let's attach this and see what we can do. That's all right. That's even better. That's giving it a well boost. So we'll whack that on. 
shield has been shield has been zappity doodard now we could do another shield generation just to see what might happen always remember to go back to your uh, actual one you want let's see what she's going to do this time I mean the yeah the reds are uh, yeah they're all going to be red apart from the regen rates can get better which is no good really yeah so we'll get rid of that one shall we okay then uh, and we'll move on to the frameship drive again let's just have a look at what we can do with these we have boot sequence uh, boot time down by 10 or 20 percent extra thermal load draw and uh, a shitter integrity this is what we want the increased range brings the mass down uh, power draw up, etc., etc. Probably gonna do this. It's gonna break my goddamn ship because the power power is so bad. Uh, there we go. Integrity up, uh, thermal load, and it's gonna make it. It's just gonna make it a uh, you know a harder, heavier frame shift drive. We obviously want increased range, but we can only do this once because we only have one atypical disrupted wake echo. Yeah. Oh, right. That's why, because uh, I don't really have a wake scanner. Never really used one. So that's interesting. In order to upgrade your FSD to some decent level, I wonder if grid resistors... Yeah, what's this other one? Nickel fine. Yeah, that's not a problem. Again, yeah, you need definitely need to get a, um, a wake scanner on a ship and uh, get that going. So I need to find a little sort of bounty hunting ship and, and fit it out so I can at least get some uh, some more of these. So this is a one-off. How are we going to go? It's a one-off one -off Johnson. That's rubbish. That's rubbish. That's rubbish. It's not great, is it? And it's going to bring the boot time down. God. I don't even know if I want that. Up 4% mass, optimize mass up. I guess I've got to send it. Anyway, the, the jump range was about unladen, maybe 28 before. Um, so let's waz it on. What else are we going to do? It's the only atypical scan I had. Um, we're still at grade 2. There's no point in going to grade 3 because we can't even get close to it. We need a magnetic emitter coil. Actually, that's quite interesting. I'm going to write that down. Magnetic emitter coil. Produced by industrial or refinery near Leasty. Okay, that's interesting. Mag emitter coil. I'm going to go and get one of them. And I have all the other bits, so that's cool. And let's just see what we need for the frame shift drive level three. I'm guessing strange, strange wake solutions. Okay, so that's what we need for that. One strange, one modular terminal. And I have these other two things, which is great. So I need to get these and these, some other bits and bobs. The engine's not really too fussed about, I suppose. Um, so there we are. Nice. More modules being engineered. Now, how do I now look at my ship's jump range? Uh, well, we've got a map here, I suppose. It's gone up to 30.22. That's cool. That's all right. I don't mind that at all. Um, I guess we could just have a look and see what modules they've got going on around here. Um, I could put a wake scanner on here. What have I got on here? I've got a secondary cargo rack. I could just whack a wake scanner on, actually. And just start, um... Hey, wait a minute, I don't want cargo rack. What are you doing? Rush shot. Hey. What's happening? Is that all they've got? Why is it saying... Do you want a shield gen? Oh, is that all they're selling? So all they sell are shield generators. Right, okay, brilliant. That's really handy. That's really helpful. Um, and I'm guessing they're not going to have anything. Yeah, right, fine. So they have nothing here, but that's not a problem. So we've increased the jump range by 30, up to 30, which is cool. All of these things, yeah, they've all got little, uh, little uh, 
engineering bits on them, which is sweet. Um, in fact, if we do go back in here, just see what the thrust is. To be fair, the top speed boost speed and the... Um, uh, if I put it onto the thrusters, it should tell us, shouldn't it? So yeah, I don't know if the pitch roll your... I didn't check to see whether it had gone up or changed or not, because I'm clearly an idiot. But I'm imagining it would have changed to the to the positive to the positive. Now, what we need to do is find a power plant um, power plant engineer. You can see down here um, on the deployed and retracted power it is over full whack because my. I can have 20.4 and it's 20.52 so as soon as I deploy everything something's going to go off um, which we can just have a little look at as I choose where next I'm going to go is there anywhere else to um, to land around here long sight base is where I am uh, what else we got no 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 yeah right there that's where we're going cool just see and I'll show you that um, when I turn when I deploy my weapons <laughs> the whole ship just turns itself off which is not good essentially it's, uh, it's no good whatsoever actually we can have a little look at this base as well it's quite cool landing gear I think, it, I think there's quite a heavy. Um, I thought there was quite a heavy uh, gravity pull there, but I don't think there is. Just have a little look around the base. What all this stuff is. So this is Elvira's house. It's rather dark. I cannot see shit all. But I kind of like it. So let's just fly. Fly away. We'll head up, we'll head up and away. Up, up and away. It does actually feel as if we're going a bit quicker. Thank you. Goodbye, Commander. Goodbye. Um, and then if we switch weapons. Switch weapons. Oh, wait a minute. Deploy hard points. <laughs> switch weapons. Oh, well, that is everything down. No, it's okay. Nothing turned off. I'm vindicated. Super cruise. Oh, retract hard points. Retract hard points. Super cruise. Frame ship drive charge. There is the escape zone. Four, three, two, one. Engage. Let's see if we can't. Have a little look at something interesting taking off from the planet. That would be quite cool. There's the base. And there's us. What a terrible camera angle that is. I really am not very good at doing this. <laughs> this thing of that. What am I like? Uh, that's sort of okay, maybe. Anyway, taking off from long sight base. Heading home. Well, we're not actually. We're heading. Um, we're heading somewhere else. Anyway, I'm going to go and um, land, refuel, do all the bits that I need to do. Work out where we're going to go. So soon, till relics are done, we need to pick up some more bits and bobs. I'll leave a link in the description for the forum for voting on instantaneous ship, instantaneous ship transfer, um, and we can um, we can all make a decision, and I'm sure they'll put that in for uh, when 
uh, Guardians comes about. Um, so there you go. Engineers for the win. Um, I'm liking that. You can even get, you know, even just the first upgrade gives you an extra two light years on your uh, your drive. So what I need to do now is get a wake scanner, get back to Gendi, pick up the Imperial Courier, come back, get some wake scans, and make sure I can increase the jump range on the Imperial Courier because that is uh, massive, important. Um, Brilliant. I'll catch you guys on the flip side of the no side of the nose dive.